Hey guys, this is Silver from the Silver and Shadow Hub, and uh, you know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> the next installment in Digimon, which is called Digimon Tamers, unlike Digimon Adventure 2, which takes place after 1, Digimon Tamers takes place in a whole new reality, where Digimon Adventure 1 and 2, in Digimon Tamers, it's a television show, and in the Digimon Tamers world, Digimon is a show, it's a it's a game, it's toys, it's a card game, it's all that stuff. They even have like these little digi, digi, digivices as toys. And uh, to make their Digimon stronger in the game, they swipe a card through the toy and the Digimon gets like modified. Like you could give a fish wings and he'll become stronger. That's how it is. <clears throat> in this show, we have three main heroes. Takato, Henry, and Rika, who are, well, except for Rika, who are <laughs> pretty normal. When Takato, he is in school, and uh, he's drawing a Digimon named Gilmon. He, he names it himself, and he creates it himself. He's drawing a Digimon named Gilmon, and that he wishes it was real. When he's walking home, he stumbles upon he stumbles upon a blue digi card, where he picks it up, and swipes it through his well, digivice toy. And when he does it, Gilmon, the Digimon he drew, comes to life in front of, in front of his eyes. And this changes Takato's life forever. Personally, out of all the Digimons, this is one of my favorites. Because it's just random stuff happening. Yeah, in this world, yeah, peop uh, in this world, Digimon is like a game and all that stuff. But in this world, just like every other Digimon world, Digimon series, the G the Digimon world is real. Like the digital world is real, but nobody knows about it except for like, <laughs> like three people, <laughs> not counting the main characters. <sighs> uh, anyway. On to the point. The good and bad things. The good things I like about this is that they introduce a whole new way of how Digimon is. <clears throat> yeah, every Digimon show does that. Like the first one, they just digivolve depending on how the character's emotions are. The second one, they digivolve the same way, but but the only difference is they use like these eggs to armor digivolve. And this one, they use cards to digivolve. I mean, not cards. Yeah, yeah, they use cards to digivolve that, and they can modify their Digimon. Like, you can give Gilmon, like, a cannon in his arm, and he can use it. And later on, later down the road, the final Mega Evolution is pretty awesome. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, another good thing, uh... <clears throat> what can I say... I like the new Digimon they introduced in this series, just like every other Digimon series. The story is alright. There are some sad moments here and there, but uh, it's alright. Huh, what else? That's pretty much it. <laughs> the bad things, uh, later on down the road. Like, in this series, I think this series, Digimon Tamers, has, like, the most Digimon deaths. Because a lot of Digimon, I think a lot of Digimon die in this series. Uh, another bad thing, um, I kind of don't like, hmm, hmm. Yeah, that's that's really that's pretty much it. Cause, like I said before, you, there's not a lot of bad things about Digimon. It's a great show, uh, and it just gets better and better with each show. And yes, this show has a movie, has two movies, just like every other Digimon series. They have like Adventure One has two movies, Adventure Two has two movies, this one has two movies, and the rest of them has two movies except for the new one that came out. Well, anyway. I'm going to go, because that's all I have to say. Those were my opinions. I will see you later. Bye-bye.